It's not every day one of the pinups from page three of the British tabloids makes it to page one in America. But that's what Samantha Fox has done. She's gone from a topless model to a top recording artist. And now this British singer is creating quite a stir. Naughty girls need love. Naughty Girls Need Love 2 is the latest hit for British-born singer and ex-pinup girl Samantha Fox, who many people would agree is the naughtiest English import since the Rolling Stones hit these shores. Everybody else thinks I'm some sort of um, sex symbol, risque, promiscuous person. So I thought, well, sing a song like that, you know, Naughty Girls Need Love 2. And uh, the lyrics, it says it for themselves, what, what I'm like. I'm just... I can't melt the way I'm looking. I'm just having fun at 21, do you know what I mean? Samantha Fox was such a wild day. Huh. But what's in the name? Naughty Girls has already made it into the top five on the pop charts. And her sometimes risque videos and live performances, like this one on Touch Me, her first U.S. release, have drawn comparisons to a popular American rock star. Touch me, touch me, if you come out of a song like Touch Me, you've got a sexy image and you look good, then you're always going to be compared with somebody like Madonna. Which I don't mind because she, she's a big star and I love her. One thing she had managed to do is keep a light-hearted, down-to-earth attitude about the importance of rock music. I don't want to be taken seriously. If I was a, a singer who wanted to put over a political view or um, a message, which is not the case at the moment because I'm 21, I don't feel I'm experienced enough or worldly enough to tell people what to do with their lives. Now I know it's 